Hello guys, I am Gyash and you are watching Blender Hunter. So today we are going to create this. So here we have done a structural analysis of this plastic stool. We can do structural analysis on any kind of component in NX Siemens. So without any further delay, let's get start the tutorial. So guys in NX Siemens software, first we need to open the model. You can take any model, in this case I am going to take this stool model. I will put the link in the description if you want to use this model. So for this first we need to go into the applications panel and select the pre and post command. After this we need to click here on this new FEM and simulation button. So all the options will be default here and we need to select NX Nastan as a solver. After this press ok. Ok, so in this window we need to press ok again, all the options will be default. Alright. So to create a simulation, first of all we need to create a mesh and for that we will assign a material to this model. So before assigning the material we will select all the components which will be the part of this simulation. Alright. Now go downward and select any kind of material you want to test. Since the stool body is made of polymer, so we can either select polyethylene or polycarbonate and we will select the type isometric. All the properties will be isometric. Press OK. Now we need to create a, a 3D tetrahedral mesh. Alright, first of all we need to select all the bodies. So we can create a window. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Make a window, select all the bodies. Now we will provide the element size here. So we can give an element size of 10 mm. So every element in this mesh will be of 10 mm. So this window is popped up. Then you can select. Uh, let's read it. Okay, press yes. Then it will take some time to generate the mesh. All right, we have our mesh now. So let's take a closer look of this. We can see the mesh is created. All right. Now we can click on this activate simulation button. Now we need to add fixed constraint to the bottom of this stool. For this we will go to the front view. Alright. Now we are in front view. Now zoom zoom a little bit. Yes. Now the mode of the selection should be nodes as you can see here. And uh, entire assembly should be selected. Now click and drag and select this window all the downward part of this tool will be selected as you can see press ok so we have our constraint body now it will not move from here and now we need to provide some load or force here we will select force and for the selection filter we will select the polygon face and we will select this face so the force will be applied on this area and we can see the effect by the simulation. Now we need to select the vector, select Z direction and revert it. Now we will provide the magnitude of force. So we can take either 200 Newton, I think, or we can change it. Let's make it 500. All right, press OK. Now let's go to the isometric view. So we can see the load is applied. Now what we need to do is select this solution number 1 and press on this solve button. Here we need to select this edit solver parameters and select all these options provided here. After this we will press ok. We can check other options. Everything is fine here. Press ok. Let's check it. Ok. Now we can press ok. And the study will be started. It might take some time. The waiting period is totally depend on the density of the mesh. Lower the density of the mesh, lower will be the calculating time. So now study has done. Now let's close it and let's check the results. We can see that in front of structure inferred is written. So cancel these out and now let's Double click on this structural. Now we will have different solutions. We can see 
if I expand it then you can see displacement rotation stress uh, reaction force reaction moment etc is written so we can check this study by double clicking on these so let's double click you can see so to play the simulation we need to play we need to push the play button okay let's cancel this now press this button you can see the deformation of different areas of this stool due to the force concentration and we can also save this result as a GIF file I'm saving this on the desktop let's name it for now we will give a structural analysis name now press ok again now it will take some time all right image is generated now let's stop it and go to the desktop we can see this structural analysis file let's open it so here we have our GIF which we can share on social media platforms or we can keep it as a result of our study so now we have studied about displacement in the same manner we can check these other results so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it if you want more tutorials like this then please let me know in the comment section now hit that like button and smash that subscribe button for more of these videos i will see you in the next one till then signing off blender hander